What's happening to road dogs and highway hounds? How about them cubbies? You gotta be excited about the cubbies, man. That's like Haley's Comet. It only comes around once every hundred years or so. <laughs> I'm kind of a Cardinal fan, but not really a baseball fan. I went out when, when the big strike in the late 80s happened. So I, I remember Ozzie Smith, Andre Dawson, Ryan Sandberg, you know, Willie McGee, those dudes. I don't really pay attention, but I did watch that last few innings of Game 7. And I think about Harry Carey, but whatever. That's not what I'm here to talk about. No, uh, some people said a few things in a video I did before, and I haven't had time to sit down and respond to the comments, so I just figured I'd uh, make a video response uh I said something about yeah, I can't remember the video maybe I'll put a link down there if I get time which I probably will but uh I said something about uh oh bitcoin you know it, it was mined for the first two years while most of the bitcoins were being minted and it wasn't necessarily a pre-mine because nobody knew what the heck Bitcoin was and it was totally experimental. And I said something about, you know, Satoshi and Craig Wright and Gavin Andreessen. And, you know, those guys got a ton of Bitcoin. That's just a fact. But I think there was some confusion about, you know, you know like, I didn't... I, didn't, I wouldn't say that I think Craig Wright is Satoshi, because I don't. But uh, he was definitely around at the time. Um, I've looked into who Satoshi is, like probably some of you have, and some of you are probably stumbling across this video asking the question. And nobody knows who Satoshi is. Nobody ever will know who Satoshi is. If it's one person or a group of people. But Craig Wright was definitely, in my opinion, from what I've looked, I think he was around at the time. I don't necessarily think he is Satoshi. I think he's, you know, was there. I think he, you know, could be around, uh, could have been around at the Genesis block time in the Bitcoin space, but I don't think he is Satoshi. I personally think, and I can't remember the guy's name, but there was a uh, guy from Florida who was actually the guy that's, that uh, Craig Wright emailed and that big story broke on how, how he uh, what, why, when he claimed to be Satoshi. But, uh, you know, I think he's just more of a profiteer, trying to profit on it, whatever. And I don't really care, and it doesn't really matter to me. But I think it was the guy in Florida that he emailed, the guy who's a, uh, a, uh, it could have, it could have been Craig Wright, but I don't think it was. I don't, I know he hasn't proven it to most people, and, you know, whatever. But, I wish I, I'll put the name, I'll, I'll do a little research and I'll put the name of the guy who Satoshi is in the title, so I'm not saying his name, but I'll put his name in the title and you can go research, you know, him and his background and, you know, see why I think that this guy was Satoshi, or Satoshi could have been a pseudonym for all those people around in the beginning. I do think Craig Wright was probably around in the beginning, but I don't know, and I don't really care, it doesn't matter to me, but what my point was, when I was saying that, or with what, the context of what I was saying was that, you know, Bitcoin, ooh, pardon, <laughs> Bitcoin was, uh, was being mined, at 50 bitcoins per 10 minutes 
for a year before hardly anybody knew what the heck it was. It was only when Gavin Andreessen went up to New Hampshire and started to, uh, somebody loves me, uh, so he went to uh, New Hampshire and started uh, feeding Bitcoin to uh, the Liberty Movement up there. And that's when I started uh, to pick up on Bitcoin and Litecoin is because of that. And as soon as I found out what Litecoin was, I was like, yes, this makes sense. And Litecoin is proven itself to be stable over time, so I like the gold and silver concept because it gives you a measure of how to value Bitcoin. And I, I, the way I look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is overvalued right now. Maybe not in the grand scheme of things, but you know, I like Litecoin because it gives a balance. And what I was talking about in that video was that it helps dilute the uh, the uh, money supply because I think Bitcoin is far too deflationary for its own good because we're, uh, I mean, I just talked to some guys at work and they don't even, you know, one guy knew what Bitcoin was and he heard something about it a few years ago and hadn't heard anything more about it. So we're stiff, definitely not mainstream, but we're a heck of a lot farther along than uh, we were in 2013 when I went to Thanksgiving and asked my family, who's heard of Bitcoin and nobody had? People have heard of it now. So three years later, people have heard of it, but they're still on the outskirts and Bitcoin is at $600. 700, wherever it's hovering around 700 now, uh, and Litecoin's down at four dollars. And I think Litecoin is going to help the newcomers coming in. It was interesting to me, I got into it at oh man, the bridge is backed up 74 bridge going from Moline to Bettendorf. It's always backed up, they're going to tear it down. You'll see it in the background when I get over there. But this is the old 74 bridge. In retro, you know, in a couple years you'll see it, but blah, blah, blah. But, uh, getting ready to cross the Mississippi River. Anyway. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, you, know, you gotta get the wave when somebody lets you in. Um, so that's basically what really what I wanted to say. No, but uh, I think Litecoin is a good uh, alternative to Bitcoin. And I'm stacking up on it. And it's all cool. <laughs> Henry the First, what's up, brother? <laughs> uh, he says, I'm, I'm too overly concerned with Litecoin. It's not going anywhere. And I guess, I, you know, I probably am. I'm kind of, I feel like I have to work for everything I, I get. You know, everything I do seems like a struggle and a fight. It's my own warped mental state, I guess. So, you know, when I don't see anything, I like, I like listening to stuff about Litecoin. And there's nothing on YouTube about it, so... Sorry, all you Litecoin fans. I'm the best you get until somebody else gets excited about it. But let me encourage you Litecoiners out there. Get vocal. And give away Litecoin. Well, I'm, I'm going to take some Litecoins. Maybe I'll film it. Maybe I'll, I'll do a little impromptu thing. I'll feel like an idiot. But who cares? I am kind of an idiot. So, uh, But I'm going to give... I'm going to hand out some paper wallets that I've printed out a long time ago that I are securely offline printed paper wallets. I'll put one, load one on there for them, you know. I like giving away light coins. Jeez, that sun's bright, huh? Sorry if 